So tell us about human design. What sources were you looking at for research? Um, yeah, human design happened after reparation hardware. Um, and, you know, I was still sort of thinking about this store, restoration hardware. Um, and so they, I found out that they're opening up this new sort of mega store here in Manhattan. And so from opening weekend, I started like kind of sneaking around the store, shooting video of myself, sort of uh, pretending to be the CEO. And I started to notice that there were a lot of um, uh, non-Western sort of sculptures and art uh, on the furniture that what that like weren't for sale. So Buddhas and African masks and things like that. Um, and so when I asked the salespeople, you know, what are these or where did they come from? They'd say, oh, we send team members out across the globe to find these one of a kind of objects and bring them back to our galleries. They call their stores galleries. And I started to wonder, you know, why why do these things exist? Um, and I had met an art historian named Christina Wilson who wrote about mid-century modern furniture showrooms and the ways in which they too had a lot of um, non-Western sculpture in them that also wasn't for sale. And maybe thinking about how they almost exist to reinforce the whiteness of the furniture and its capacity to sort of contain this wild other. Um, and so then I started to think about how I could make a video where I almost imagined that I was that like team member going out and finding these one of a kind objects myself. Um, and maybe in the process getting confused about whether she or not she's finding the origin of these objects or finding the origin of herself somehow. Um, and that's how the video came together. That's yeah, that's very impressive that, you know, the concept of origins is being discovered, like where do these things actually come from, you know? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it is a fun process. <laughs>